Welcome. Drachmas, are you there? He muted himself, so maybe he'll say something in just a minute. I want to have, uh, let me go ahead and read this verse to you. This is a new verse that's been rewritten. Liar. 2 Corinthians 11, 4, but look what it says today. It's always said that. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, uh-huh. right? That's another Jesus now in the Bible. There whom we have Jesus. not preached, or if you, if ye receive another spirit, uh-huh. which ye have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. And that sounds like what that pastor says. What difference does it make? Or, you know, like it's not a big deal. Just bear with it. No, I'm not going to bear with this new gospel. I'm not going to bear with this new Jesus that's now in the Bible. I'm not going to bear with it. It's not right. I don't recognize him. So we, you see how messy this is? And I don't know, I have to ask you brothers, all three of you, That's do, you, do, you think, do you think that the Jesus is now in the Bible is now another Jesus? Do you think the people who are reading scripture today who deny that the Bible is changing, are they following another Jesus? Oh, goodness. Can I just say, let's, can I just rephrase this? Can I- yes. Oh, sorry, Drachmas, yes, now we can hear you. Like, re- respectfully, I-, I like to say okay. there's only um, one Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's only one. So there's, so there's, there's no I'm, false Christ. Drachmas is trying to speak. There's none Drachmas that are coming are so trying to act like they're Jesus. But feel free to say hi. You guys are... I'm sorry. You guys are idiots. Hello. Um, yeah, as far as this topic, though, um, since 2019, I started seeing uh, Son of Man and uh, Son of David in scriptures. It's always said that. And I tried to bring it to the community's attention, but uh, it was like after a few days at that point, um, it remained completely silent. And ever since then, um, it's gotten even worse to the point where there are people in our community that that say they have always remembered Son of Man. Um, That's for me, it's reality. like the comparison of... Um, yeah, for me, it's like the comparison of, you know, if you think of an actor um, and you call him Jesus and he does things similar than like Jesus would, but, um, you know, it's still a different person. It is. Like, uh, my Jesus never, my Jesus never slept in a, sh- in a ship. My Jesus never got hung on a tree, you know, it wasn't the holy thing. And you know, at least, at least Luke nineteen nineteen twenty seven. Um, my recall of it, it was actually more of uh, cast them out because uh, where some people say shoe, I don't, I don't remember that in uh, scriptures at all. I agree with you, Drachmas. I think that um, I remember when he said, "Depart from me." When it was a parable that he was speaking, he didn't say slay them before me. He said, "Depart from me." He didn't. He didn't say slay them. Why would he contradict himself when he said to love your enemies, to pray for your enemies, to love your neighbor as yourself, and now you're and to forgive your enemies, to forgive your enemies seven seventy times seven. By the way, that's changed. So, Drachmas, you're hitting the nail on the head. I don't know, cat. Explain to me why when Jesus returns, he's going to destroy his enemies. They are going to be slain before him. He's returning as a lion, not as a lamb. Hence where you guys get the confusion of the lion laying down with the lamb. It's never been lion and lamb. It's always been wolf and lamb. And as far as the scripture in 2 Corinthians 11 and 4... Another Jesus? Yes. When you read the scriptures in context, there are those who are believing another Jesus and who are going to bear with this other Jesus. It's not the Jesus Christ of the scriptures. You guys are preaching another Jesus. And you're bearing well with that other Jesus. Because you deny the scriptures. You hate the scriptures. And you're teaching other people to hate the scriptures. You're teaching other people to not study the scriptures. You're teaching other people to not have Bible study and to not meditate on God's word. This is what you're teaching people. You're causing people, you're, you're causing people, whether you realize it or not, that they're going to have their, shape, their, their faith shipwrecked because of your lies and your deception. Because you think you know something, but you really don't. 
You don't know the Word of God. You're not qualified to teach the Word of God. You're not even qualified to speak on the Word of God because the way that you flippantly speak about the Word of God. And you should feel you should feel thankful and blessed. The Lord hasn't dried up your tongue and your and your tongue turned black and it fall out of your mouth yet, you wicked Jezebel. Because that's what's going to happen to you. Keep 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 doing this. Your tongue is going to fall out of your mouth. Mark my words on that. Your tongue will fall out of your mouth. You keep up this nonsense. And then you're going to wish you did not speak ill against God's word. So yes, the Mandela Effect people are preaching another Jesus. And they're bearing with this other Jesus. Jesus.